Hi, my name is Brando Sano. Today I'm going to be talking about how the essential of sleeping and this is going to be my informative speech and I want to talk about how sleeping is very essential to the human body. Uh, if a human body does not get the requirement amount of sleep or the hours that are necessary, it can lead to high uh, blood pressure effects. It affects uh, you are at risk of diabetes or heart attack or simply it affects the immune system. So the sleep drive also known as sleep wake or homeostasis, may be linked to adolescence. So what that is, is technically while your body uh, functions throughout the day, the brain produces these chemicals, which tend to make, uh, which tends to make the human body very drowsy, sleepy, or simply tired. And so the way we, uh, how the human body breaks those down is by sleeping, which is very important once again. And so why, why do we need sleep? So the sleeping not only allows the body to feel well rested, uh, feel much more healthier or more active throughout the day, but um, sleeping can it'll be improved by different by very different uh, things. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll go over the different ways how sleeping can be improved. And the first one is by regular exercise. So exercising one to two hours, depending on the depending on the on the age group. So your body throughout the day with exercising um, burns out not only through your muscles, proteins, anything that you've eaten throughout or anything that a person have might have may have been taken throughout the day, but it breaks them down. So first, uh, regular exercise can usually improve your sleep pattern. Exercise overall, um, at least is recommended one to two hours for the human body. So what it does throughout that exercise, it makes, it burns down through your muscles. It affects, uh, it drains through your energy and overall, whatever you've in, uh, whatever human body has intaking throughout the day, it breaks down those certain, uh, certain, pro certain proteins, carbohydrates, fats or anything. And so what sleep does again, it restores that energy that you've been lo losing throughout the day. And exercise can vary from very different things. It can be from simply walking, running, or doing simple tasks like throughout either from work or throughout the day. Another fact that I want to give you is that it takes 10 to 15 minutes for a human body to fall asleep. When a human body lays in bed, is getting ready to sleep, it usually takes that a certain amount of time to fall asleep. But people have starting to notice that whenever they fall asleep within five to 10 minutes, it usually means that the human, that the body is very sleep deprived. And go back to the first thing which can affect the human body that being, you know, affects the immune system. You are more than likely to get sick. You are at risk for uh, heart attacks, uh, blood pressure. And overall, your brain doesn't function well throughout the day. Again, that chemical adenescence can really make the body feel drowsy and it can really affect the way you perform throughout the day. And so lastly, sleep disorders are characterized by abnormal sleep patterns. So this means that depending of how often a human body sleeps throughout the day and how often they practice that either that seven hour mark of sleep it can really affect them uh, with their sleep schedule and which again can be contributed by many different factors that can be either they either the person is busy either either they take too much um because other foods can affect uh, the in uh, can affect this uh, the sleep pattern as well, that being caffeine, uh, coffee, uh, tea, or simply or lastly it can affect or it can be caused by many by anxiety or uh, by anxiety or any other problems that may that may be affecting a person's life. So again, that can really affect the patterns of sleep. So it's important for the human body to get those required hours of sleep in order for them to function properly throughout the day. And so in conclusion, uh, when I do wanna go over sleep and the importance of how sleep can really be varied by three different things. Well, sleep deprived can really affect the human body. And there are three different ways how a person can improve it. The first one being exercise. The second one being uh, keeping track of how much you sleep, how a person should be regularly checking the amount of hours uh, they sleep and how when it's ready for their body to to well rest throughout the day. Because fun fact, uh, the human body, well, humans in general are the only species that really can skip the sleep, like sleeping in general, unlike other uh, other species where they 
as soon as they feel tired, that's it. They they go to sleep. For us, for us humans, we can avoid sleeping, which does cause a very long term uh, health effect. Uh, sleep disorders are affected by by our sleep pattern. So if a person sleeps a certain amount of time, it does affect uh, the way we perform throughout a day. And sometimes it creates a really bad habit for the human body to, so you may say that you, or a person may say that they wanna sleep at this certain amount of time, but the human body, since it's so used to a certain amount of time, they struggle to fall asleep, which again, it goes back to the very, very first thing that it can affect, uh, it can have very bad, uh, bad, bad health problems. So overall, this can be my speech on sleep.